Detection of E. coli salmonella species and vibro cholera in tap water and bottle drinking water in Isafiran. So what happened here and why is this a problem? Well, taking a look at this study, we can understand more about our own location and some of their testing methods. The quality of drinking water has an important role in human infection and disease. And this study was aimed at comparing polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, and culture detecting E. coli salmonella species and vibro chlorella in tap water bottled drinking water in various seasons in SF province Iran. So what did they do? They took a total of 448 water samples from the tap water and bottled mineral water were taken over in six months from July 2010 to December 2010. And after filtration samples were examined by culture and polymerase chain reaction methods for detection, the Escherichia coli salmonella species and Vibro chlorella. So what did they find? The culture showed that 34 for Three of all 448 water samples were positive for E. coli salmonella species and vibro chlorella, respectively. The UDA gene from the E. coli IPV gene, salmonella species, and ESPM gene from vibro chlorella were detected in 38, 5, and 3 of the 144 TAP samples. Respectively, E. coli was detected in 8 of the 304 samples of bottled drinking water from 5 companies. And the water southern part of Isaf and the company had the 5 highest prevalences of bacteria. The E. coli water contamination was significantly higher in hot seasons, July to August, than cold November to December seasons in the company, five other companies that were significant differences for the prevalence of bacteria between tap waters of the southern part and tap waters of the central part of the sun. So, what did they conclude? It showed that the polymerase chain reaction or PCR assays can be extremely accurate, fast, safe, sensitive, and specific approach to modern drinking water quality from purification facilities and bottled water companies. Also, the study confirmed the presence of Escherichia E. coli salmonella species, Vibrochlorella, as waterborne pathogens in tap water and bottled drinking water in South Iran. And the present study showed the important public health problem in Iran. So, what did they do? Despite modern techniques for disinfection, sanitation, water purification, waterborne disease still threaten humans, living organisms, and water is the most vital and important for survival. And this study showed the ingestion of water contaminated with coliforms, Echera coli, Salmonella, Viro can create serious complications, diarrhea, and terrorists, and even death, leading to high economic losses. And among the diagnostic technique is culture, serology, and molecular methods. The last one is the fastest. Molecular methods have a high sensitivity, specificity, and safety. And nonetheless, culture methods remain popular because of their ease and simplicity, with PCR being one of the most widely used for molecular methods for detection of wide range of microorganisms in various clinical samples. PCR assays have been developed for detection for salmonella as well. And we can see the province with a population of 4,800,000 in an area of 200,000 or 200 million, 91, 100,000 and 44 square kilometers it is the second biggest province of Iran and the central among of Iran's central mountains as well. And for the isolation of the two liters of water, they're filtered with 0.22 U membranes of 12 to 15 membranes per sample and were subsequently incubated in 100 milliliters of alkaline peptide water, pH 8.6, 4, 6 to 8, 8 at 35 Celsius, two low folds of broth were streaked on a trifosius citrate bill agar and incubated for 18 hours. And for E. coli, the isolation for water samples, each sample was shown to be labeled as serial number, place of water, and the type of water it was, as well as the time and date of collection. And the examination of water samples was completed 24 hours after the collection using standard total coliform, multiple tube fermentation techniques after the termination of MPM. The tube showed growth were inoculated into Mac Coney, EMB agar plates, and 4024H incubation at 35 Celsius and 0.5 Celsius or 24H plus gram-negative microorganisms were isolated from Akani agar and MB agar determined at the species level using cytochrome oxidase, triple sugar iron, agar, urea in the old tests, and as punitively E. coli. What does that all mean? Simply put, they were able to find different microorganisms such as E. coli salmonella and other problems, chlorella in the tap water, by using PCR testing, and that was their findings. Now, why is that an issue? You might say it's an issue in a different country, but it's still a problem here, as these microorganisms can get into your water. So to prevent them and the effects they cause, it's always a good idea to periodically test your water.